Welcome and thank you so much for joining me today. So we are going to be sketching using the quadratic formula. Now the first thing I want you to think about is if you don't know what, what, the, quadra the, what the quadratic formula is, the equation, make sure you go to the proof and have a look at it. Because it's not just about memorising it, it's about understanding where it comes from. So our formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared take 4ac divided by 2a. So that is our formula and that will give us our x values. Now, just remember, if our square root is a negative, that means there is no real number. And if we're thinking that there's no real number, it just means that there is no x values. So our turning point is not on the x axis. Now, if we are thinking about um, our formula, because remember we're using quad uh, the quadratic formula, so that's the only thing I'm focusing on today. If our square root is a zero, it means there's one, which means that point will be our turning point. So that is just bearing in mind of um, how we can use this formula. So to start off, we've got to y equals 2x squared plus 4x minus 3. Now to start off, I am going to be writing our equation of a quadratic y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So I know straight away that based on a, we have got a min. I know a is 2, b is 4, and c is negative 3. So I'm just going to input, input those into this equation. So negative, then I've got b, b is 4, plus or minus the square root of, so 4 squared, minus 4 times 2 times negative 3. Divided by 2 times a, a is 2. So all my inputs I've just put in brackets. Now I'm going to simplify negative 4 plus or minus square root. 4 squared is 4 times 4 equals 16. Minus, now negative 4 times 2 is 4 times 2 equals 8, so it's negative 8. Then negative and negative equals a positive, so it will be 8. 8 times 3, 8, 16, 24. Over 2 times 2 equals 4. I'm going to get my calculator. Okay, so we're doing 16 plus 24. That equals 40. So I'm going to have two answers. I'm going to have neg um, negative 4 plus and negative 4 minus the square root of 40 over 4. To make it easier, I'm just going to put, um, write square root of 40 as a decimal, which is 6.32. So we're going to have two answers. One I'm going to put here, negative 4 plus the, squ um, dips, it, the square root of 46.324 over 4. And the other x value I am going to have is negative 4 minus 6.324 over 4. So if I put if I just quickly work that out, negative 4 plus 6.324 divided by 4, and that equals 0 0.58. 0 0.581. So that is one of my x-intercepts, and the other one is negative 4 minus 6.324 divided by 4 is negative 2.5 negative 2.581. So if I am drawing a graph using this formula, and remember I'm only using this formula today, so I put my two points on. So first I need to make sure I've got, I've labelled my x-axis, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So my point is 0 0.581, so that will be roughly there, and negative 
go roughly here. So notice I'm on two intercepts. Now I know it is a min because my A is positive, so it's going to be down here somewhere. The only other thing I need to find now is the halfway point between these. So if I add these two together, and then I divide it by two, so 0 0.581 plus negative 2.581, if I divide that by two, I get negative one. So that means my turning point will be negative one. When x is negative one, I need to find now what y will be. So I just insert this into the equation. So I go two, so y equals two negative one squared plus four negative one. Take three. And I solve it. Negative one squared is one. One times two equals two. Four times negative one is, neg is I'll change that to negative four. And then I've got to take three. So I've got two take four equals negative two. Negative two take three equals negative five. So my, my turning point would be negative one, negative five. So negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and negative five. So right here. Now I'm able to draw my graph. If we look at this equation now, 3x squared takes 6x plus 5. First thing I need to think about is my quadratic equation. ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, so a is 3, b is negative 6, and c is 5. Now, the first thing I need to do is substitute the values into here. Just remember, if this is a negative, then we know it doesn't go through the x-axis, and I, and I will need to... Um, and I will need to put it into the, the turning point form to be able to find the turning point. But I won't be doing that here, if, if we have to. So to start off, I'm going to first put all my details in. So <coughs> negative, I've got B is 3, plus, um, plus or minus B squared, take 4 times... Sorry. Negative 6 squared. Take 4 times A, which is 3, times C, which is 5. Okay. So let's see. Divide it by 2 times A, which is 3. So let's start off and simplify this. We have negative 3. Now, I wrote it down wrong. B is 6. So we've got negative 6. Plus or minus. Negative 6 squared is 6 times 6 equals 36. So square root of 36. Minus 4 times AC. So what's um, 4 times 3 is 12. 5 times 12 is 60. So we take going minus 60. Now, 2 times 3 is 6. Straight away I'm going to stop. Because this part here, the square root of b squared minus 4ac, is the dis discriminant. And that just means that that, that that tells us how many x values we have. And right now, I can tell that we are, we're, we are going to have no real number out of this. And that's because our square root is going to be a negative number. So I know straight away my turning point is not cutting through the x Axis, so it's either going to because I know it is so because I know it is a positive a. I know somewhere it either on this here or on this side it is going to be looking like this. So there is not going to cut through the x axis, so I need to put it in another form. So that this is where I'll be using this same question in another video. If you need any extra help on sketching using the quadratic formula. Feel free to, to message me and get back to me.